So I got a question for you. Where do you think more forehand winners are hit from? Assuming this player is right-handed, do you think this player, as a pro, hits more forehand winners standing on this half of the court or standing on this half of the court? Well, let's check out Stan Wawrinka and let's see where he's standing when he hits his forehand winner in this point. Man, he absolutely destroyed that last forehand. I love Stan. He's awesome. So a couple things to take in here. First off, you have to stop thinking of the court as being divided in half, where this is your backhand and this is your forehand. Reverse that if you're a lefty. Realize something, that these numbers represent where forehand winners are being struck. 59% of forehand winners on the Pro Tours right now, the latest data coming in and the way that the pros are playing, 59% of forehand winners are being struck while standing on the backhand side. Even Stan, I mean, if you go back and watch that point, a ball comes to his backhand, the ball comes like way back here, and he hits it as a backhand. And then later on in the point, Stan comes over here, hits the ball here, the ball comes right here to Stan, and he moves around it. And that's when he hits the first forehand. Then he hits the second forehand. Even a ball coming to Stan Wawrinka's backhand, would you love to have Stan Wawrinka's backhand? One of the greatest backhands ever. A ball comes to his backhand, right to it, he moves around it, and he's hitting a forehand. Not even Stan Wawrinka accepts a backhand coming right to him. Neither should you. Start dominating with your forehand and start either hitting it inside out or inside in. When you move around your backhand to hit a forehand, it freezes your opponent. This is a way to upgrade your shot and not just accept backhands, but start dominating with your forehand. When I found out that 59% of forehand winners are being struck from the ad side of the court as a righty, absolutely blew my mind. Now, I learned this from the newest online solution to help you win more singles matches, all based on the latest data coming out of the Pro Tours. It's called the New Rules of Singles. Brand new for 2023. And this is from Will Hamilton over at Fuzzy Yellow Balls and Craig O'Shaughnessy. This guy right here on the right, Novak Djokovic hired him to teach him how to build a game plan to literally beat Rafael Nadal at the Australian Open a few years ago. He is the world's leading stats guy when it comes to exactly how players are winning matches, the tendencies, the new strategies that they're using. And he teamed up with Will to teach you exactly how to start defeating your toughest opponents. Here's what's cool. If you pick up the new rules of singles between now and March 30th, it's only $67 plus the bonuses that Will is throwing in is over a $600 value. So click the link in the description below. I'm also gonna pin that link in the first comment. And if you're looking for new people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or if you wanna find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Player Court, and it's playercourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. Don't accept balls that come directly to your backhand. Film yourself playing a match and look at it. If a ball comes directly to your backhand, are you just accepting it as a backhand? Your opponents are hoping you will. Or are you moving around it and making your opponents pay? Film yourself, make sure that you are hitting forehands on the backhand half of the court. And if you do, there's no doubt. You're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.